Hey guys, it's Wednesdays with Chasey Poo. Uh, yes, I know for the last four weeks I have looked the same, same hair color, nude, cat hair all over the place. Here's the thing, I needed to binge make these videos because I am away from home when this video is out. And I would like to especially make this video, because I could have waited to make this video until I got home, because technically I guess I'm home this week. But, um, I wanted to make it now because this is a perfect example. This week's topic is how to deal with stress. Listen, right now is perfect time for me to talk about this because I'm crazy stressed. And I did something to make myself feel better and now I feel better and I can record these videos because I really needed to record these four transtastic videos in a row and I was like, I can't do it. I have, there's a block. There's something going on with me. So I suffer from anxiety, okay? I have a lot of anxiety and I've tried so many different medications that made me gain like 15 pounds and it was just a nightmare for me last year and my anxiety got, got, got better and then it got worse and it got better and got worse and it's, I, it's really annoying that it goes up and down. So, um, I, I deal with, with, with a lot of anxiety on top of having a very like high stress um, life, but a good amount of stress is very good, right? We all have that tipping point. There's this, and, and, and me, I'm a, I'm a high stress person. I need to be busy all the time. I need to have tasks, I need to have lists, I need to do this, 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 this. Oh my God, did that rhyme? Um, so I need to be a busy person, but sometimes one task too much tips me over the edge and I'm done. And that's what happened today. So I am expecting a guest this week. So I need to get a lot of things done um, before that happens. The person's coming tomorrow. So I need to record videos. I need to edit videos. I need to schedule videos because I'm going to be gone for 10 days after. So I have a lot to do. So all this to say, I'm a very stressed out today. I cleaned my entire house, took me five hours. Like it, it was a big day for me, okay? And the thing with me is that I have a lot of anxiety when I'm around a lot of people all the time. I need to be alone, okay? And I'm a very social person. I have a lot of friends. I love to talk and it's great, but I need to be at home for 24 hours and have no human contact. Turn my phone off, no one sees me, I have my noise canceling headphones, I wear a, a weighted blanket, I don't exist to the world. This helps me refresh and regenerate myself. I have no idea why I'm like this and why I have become like this, but it's been like that for about a good year and a half. Um, whereas before I didn't know that I needed that, so I would just be stressed out all the time and just panic. But now I know I need to take, take, take time for myself. Um, and the biggest, I guess, thing about how to deal with stress for me and the advice that I could ever give anybody, which I think makes sense, is tr tr like, like self-care, man. You, it, 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 is, it is so important to take care of yourself. And I have not been alone now for, uh, for at least one day, okay? I have not been alone for almost over a month, a month and a half now, because I did Vlogmas in December every single day I went out. So it's a lot for me. And then now I'm going to be with uh, people for 10 more days. So I'm not going to be alone until like, um, honestly, I think the week that this video comes out, which is four weeks. So thinking about this is giving me extra stress. Okay. So what I did, I, I ate some really great food and I still felt very low. So I had a little bit of like peanut butter with, with some chocolate, still felt very low. Thought it was my sugar. I don't know what's wrong with me. So what I did is I went into the shower and I sat down. Okay, relax. I sat down because I really liked it. It's like a, it's like a, like a sauna. It's like steamy. And I just, I breathe, and it was just so good to breathe. And then what really helps me are scents. Okay, so I am obsessed with Lush because the smells make me feel better about everything. So I use my conditioner, and it smells like vanilla milkshake. And then I use my body wash, which is Snow Fairy, and it smells like bubble gum. It, it just smells amazing. And these things make me feel better. And then I. I'm at my desk and things that make me feel better make me feel calmer. Sudoku, I'm very good at doing Sudoku. I can do like hard, extra hard, eh, extra hard, eh, I'm getting there. Um, and when I started to do one of the Sudokus that I have here, I couldn't even finish an easy one. I don't know what was wrong with me. I did it, I did it eventually, but it took me like 35 minutes. An easy one would take like three minutes, maybe even two minutes, honestly. So I don't know what was wrong with me. I was really stressed out and that just shows the stress, but I did a couple more, I took my time. I was like, there's no time constraint, just, just do it. And it relaxed me so much. So everyone has a different definition of what self-care is. And I think that it's super important that we 
um, find what we need. So I know I need to be alone. I know I need to use my noise canceling headphones. I need to use a weighted blanket. I need to relax myself and do Sudoku. I could play video games if I wanted, but when I play video games, I feel a bit of a pressure to stream on Twitch, which I love to do, but when I need time by myself, I don't want to do that. So I need to just kind of disconnect from everyone and everything. And I think that everyone kind of needs to have this. So in the comments, because this will help other people, what do you do to help your stress? Do you, what's your ideal self care? Do you do other things to help not stress you out? Because I love making lists. Like, you know that rent song? Like, I make lists in my sleep, baby. You know what I'm talking about, okay? That's me. I make lists in my sleep. I make lists of me making lists. I make a list of the, I'm not even joking. You, you think I'm joking? I'm not. This is my life. This is what I like to do. And I, making lists makes me feel calm. And it makes me feel great because everything is outlined. Everything is there. I know what I'm going to do. I put the time. I put, I put the minute sometimes. I put reminders on my phone. Organization is not stressful for me. It's amazing for my anxiety and for my stress. So recently, um, one more thing before I go. I wanted to let you know I have a lot of stomach issues. Um, I had colitis in... July and it messed up my entire digestive system. They don't know what's going on with me, but they think I probably now have IBS. I would definitely agree with that. Um, so I have to change the entire way that I'm eating because um, everything that I'm eating that are like good or like on the good list are hurting me. Like things like, oh, never eat this um, or uh, sorry, or you could eat this. It's okay. You won't hurt you. So instead I've kind of um, threw everyone's advice out the window and I've decided to try the FODMAP diet. So I have a cookbook here, low FODMAP, vegan, because I'm vegan. And um, it, it's, it's a little bit hard. It's a lot of bowls, a lot of like sweet potato. But the thing is that you can't eat, like, I can't eat like 12 sweet potato in one day. I can eat like one sweet potato. And I can only eat one medium banana. Hunty, I have three bananas a day usually. And I know maybe like that's why your stomach hurts. But here's the thing. My stomach still hurts even with eating in this diet. This diet is just very stressful for me. My body is not used to being switched over to this type of diet. It's a little bit hard for me to um, plan everything is it's hard like I had I, when I went vegan like it, it was a it, it was a challenge just to find good food that made me feel good and then I found it and now uh, I can't eat onions or garlic are you kidding me there's a staples in my life man apples no apples no cashews no avocado I can eat one eighth of an avocado like I'm not even gonna bother I'm literally not gonna bother because if I have one eighth I'm just gonna be tempted to scoop the whole thing in my mouth no one's gonna know Trust me, hunty, I will know tomorrow. Um, so this really sucks and I'm really trying to process the stress and it's putting a lot of a lot of pressure on me to myself, not anybody else, who cares about anyone else? It's for me and how to eat properly and feel good about eating and enjoy food because I can't use any spices except salt. Salt is not a spice! Anyways, uh, yes, if you look online, you can use like turmeric, but um, turmeric upsets my stomach a little bit. Everything. That's, 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 that's. Anyways, I will leave it at that. Um, I just want to kind of update you on my stomach issue because um, I guess I feel like what I told you, like, oh, that's not too stressful. You just sound like you have a lot to do. I do have a lot to do. I have a lot of videos to make. I love doing that. This is my job. I love it. I love doing this. Like, I just handed in my thesis. Like, what? This is awesome. But the weight of this new type of eating that I need to get used to is very hard on me, and I'm really trying to accept it mentally, and I don't think I've completely accepted that a lot of the foods that I love to eat, like falafel, are completely out of, I can't eat that anymore. And it's just really hard for me to accept, I guess. Anyways, let me know, don't let me know what your stresses are. Let's not think about that. What do you do to relieve your stress? What do you do? I do Sudoku, that's like, that's a really good thing for me. And I do a, like a, a lush shower. Let me know in the comments, I love you guys. Also, beauty is still here. Four weeks in a row she's here. <laughs> okay, I love you, bye.